All right, guys, we're going to have to do a quick breakdown of this Godzilla vs. King Kong trailer, or just Kong, I suppose. Rather than kind of sugarcoat this into like some big 10 minute video, I'm just going to kind of go through reasonably quickly and just, you know, tell you what, tell you, tell you what's going on, what's happening here. If you're kind of like a super fan in general of Godzilla shit, you're going to notice a lot more than, you know, the, the random casual viewer. So let's just see if there's anything you maybe didn't pick up on, or we'll just talk about theories and things that might happen and where the movie looks like it's going. And our very exciting guests here that you may or may not have noticed in the original trailer. So let's have a quick look through here. First off, the trailer opens up with this kind of like city disaster happening, big shit falling everywhere, and then there's a, a crowd running. You'll notice in the sky here, in the top right hand corner, that there's um, some glowy red thing. You might just immediately assume that's Godzilla or something, but if you look close enough, you can tell that it is in fact Mecha Godzilla. So, spoilers, Mecha Godzilla's in this movie. Um, I think he was accidentally leaked with some toy designs a while ago. But people didn't really, they weren't too hot on the actual designs of the toy. But hopefully in all of his glory on the big screen, he might look a, a lot better. I haven't looked at the toys. I tried to avoid any Mechagodzilla spoilers. Um, he is my favourite Godzilla villain. So I do just want to see him in the movie when it happens. But that is him in the top right hand corner. I mean, I assume so anyway. Most people assume so. That's the running theory. So let's continue. They've obviously captured King Kong like they, they do in these Kong, King Kong movies. Um, he doesn't seem very phased by it though, if I'm honest. He is kind of just sitting there like, who the fuck put these chains on me? Oh well, I guess this is me now. Don't know who this guy is. Um, there's probably a couple of teams. Monarch's probably here to some extent. There was some talk about some Apex team or something um, who might be the ones running Mechagodzilla or you know doing something suspicious to some extent. So King Kong's kind of got this relationship with this little girl and um, obviously not the same kind of relationship he had with the female protagonist of past King Kong movies but definitely some kind of like bond of protection type thing. Obviously you'll note straight away when Godzilla does show up is that his, his spine's a little bit different actually. He looks like he has a much more classic Godzilla design in regards to his um, his spinal column. The big spikes down his back, they're very much like a classic Godzilla, a little bit less like the legendary Godzilla. You also see that his tail goes up here, and he just uses his tail as a weapon. I'm not sure if this is a direct reference to Shin Godzilla. It might be, it might not be. But either way, that's something to take note of. Once again, you can maybe assume, possibly, if this is going to work like the original Godzilla vs. Mecha Godzilla, this could very possibly be Mechagodzilla in the fake Godzilla skin, which sounds cartoonish and stupid, and it is. But, I mean, this is Godzilla vs. King Kong. It's already kind of kind of silly. That's fine. This is what these movies are like sometimes. It's quite a step far away from what the first 2014 Godzilla was like, but that's just naturally how these things go. So this is very possibly Mechagodzilla taking the piss and causing some eruptions to get the planet on um, the side of King Kong. To make it look like there's a rivalry there. To make it look like there's a, a good guy and a bad guy, I suppose. Also, it could actually just be Godzilla. They do mention in this trailer like, that it's kind of like an ancient rivalry. And they've been at war before. So they might just have a general distaste for each other. Or each other's species. And Godzilla's just kind of protecting that. It could just be a grudge match. Or also it's possible that Godzilla wants rid of Mechagodzilla. And maybe thinks Kong has something to do with it. Not too sure. More than likely it's going to be a Batman vs Superman situation. Where they have to team up at the end to fight Mechagodzilla or some shit. Now this seems pretty interesting on these um, these kind of like airplane carriers on the ocean. Because actually the way King Kong's jumping around and that. It is very similar to um, a very specific scene, a very famous scene in Neon Genesis Evangelion. If you remember this scene, I'll just throw a quick clip of it. It's kind of the introduction of um, Asuka in Neon Genesis Evangelion in Unit 2. Very, very reminiscent. I don't know if it's a direct reference. Once again, like Shin Godzilla, it might just be a coincidence. Uh, but it might be a direct reference, which is nice, because I'm a big fan of Evangelion. Yeah, oh yeah, so you will see some returning characters here. There's Ch Kyle Chandler's character from King of Monsters. You'll also see Hong Kong, I'm assuming it's Hong Kong, is lit up in neon lights. So it's taking a bit of a... There's Millie Bob Brown back again from King of Monsters, who looks about five years older all of a sudden. But um, yeah, Hong Kong's looking quite different. It's, v it's very neon. Um, I might be seeing Hong Kong because it reminds me of how Hong Kong looked in Pacific Rim. And that's fine. It's got a nice aesthetic to it. You will realise as the trailer goes on, it gets more and more anime. Yeah, so hopefully it doesn't get too cartoony. But it definitely looks like Kong's the, simp the one you sympathise with this movie. Alright, and then Kong's batting around these two big flying cobra monsters. I don't know if it's supposed to be something specific that I just missed for some reason. 
But I'm thinking just more ancient monsters from their time. Like like the Titans, like the Skull Crawlers, all that kind of thing. Yeah, and then one will fall. Got some big nasty bats. Not the giant condor, luckily for us. No giant condors. We don't need a repeat of that. And um, question is though, where's all the Titans fit into this? Because let's think about it. At the end of King of Monsters, Godzilla did kind of crown himself the king of the monsters. And then all the other Titans were kind of his servants. Um, or like um, his disciples or whatever you want to say. Is it His crew. He's ruling with a crew, basically. King Kong didn't show up. Godzilla has the respect of Mothra. Um, he has that sniveling gargoyle Rodan on his side now as well. Who would probably turn against him at any moment notice but either way if you feel like kong's gonna win he probably wants to dethrone him but either way where are they can godzilla not call upon them or if it is mecha godzilla do you all know it's mecha godzilla and aren't gonna fucking aren't gonna help out but then surely at the end of the movie if it's king kong and godzilla versus mecha godzilla then godzilla can just call upon all the other titans and absolutely demolish him so it's possible they'll do a similar storyline like in mecha godzilla the original that mecha godzilla actually hurts his friends let's say I mean, in the original movie, Mecha Godzilla, disguised as Godzilla, ripped Anguirus's jaw open. It was pretty brutal. It's possible that maybe Mecha Godzilla might um, kill some of Godzilla's friends or his um, his his Titan buddies, or at least incapacitate them to the point where it's, it's kind of up to Godzilla and Kong to defeat him. I suppose that might be the way they have to go with it. Or they might just not talk about them anymore. They might just brush them in the rug like, oh, they all went to sleep. These things happen in these kind of movies. Very, very bright. Um, Hong Kong there. Very, very anime fight scene going on there. It looks like a lot of fun. Let's be fair for each other. Um, it comes out this year in theatres and HBO Max. So a lot of people in America can get it pretty much for not much, if anything. Might be quite a different situation in some other countries. We'll have to wait and see. But that's Godzilla vs King Kong. Very excited for Mecha Godzilla. A lot of questions about Godzilla's friends. Or they, it's possible that maybe... Because it's a grudge match or the fighting for supremacy, it might be a situation of all the disciples have to kind of stand down and let them w let one of them win. We'll wait and see. This might just be a destroy all monsters in disguise. We don't know. But it's definitely looking like it's going to be very similar to Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla, where Mechagodzilla rummages about as Godzilla, fucks up a lot of the um, good credits that Godzilla had before Godzilla has to team up with some other monsters to take him down, which is simple enough. But it's actually really, it's really entertaining and interesting in the original movie. I think Mechagodzilla is one of the best Godzilla uh, villains of all time. And I'm actually quite fond of this Kong. He has a lot of really good um, interactions. He feels like an actual big ape creature, an actual living thing. Um, so I'm quite fond of the Kong in this series. But if it is just down to King Kong versus Godzilla, Godzilla has to win. Godzilla has to beat King Kong. Because am I fuck? getting an ending like King Kong vs Godzilla from the original show series. What the actual fuck was that about? King Kong in that movie was a messed up alcoholic and he manages to fucking knock Godzilla to the ocean and they're all like, oh he won. Bullshit! Godzilla wins that fight. Alright, I'm starting to sound like a fucking elitist man boy. Either way, to make up for that movie, I just I just feel like Godzilla has to kind of win, you know? And I think it's only fair. And his name is first this time. It's not King Kong versus Godzilla. It's Godzilla versus Kong. It's God versus King. Hopefully, hopefully, our boy Godzilla does get the victory. But I am quite fond of you, King Kong. So I hope you do good as well. I hope you make a good team. Anyway, check out the channel for more movie-related stuff. I only really do stuff related to horror movies, giant monster movies, that kind of thing. So look out for a lot more of that. Hope you enjoyed. I hope it was enough. Hope you got a nice breakdown without me overcomplicating too much or sound like a rambling twat that I am. And let's, let's just fucking look forward to this movie, eh? I am. Bye now. Thank mm -hmm. you.